Hi everyone, this is JJ here with Future Engineering Topics, where I talk about AI and CAD. Today specifically, we're going to be looking at a model I designed here that's spinning away here in Onshape. It's a simple fidget spinner that is parametric, and I'll show you soon, we're going to play around with it. And then what I want to see is how we can design this exact same fidget spinner in an AI tool like Leo AI or Claude AI. So one of the things I love about working in Onshape is working in this multi-part studio so where we'll be able to design all the parts in one place that we need for this fidget spinner assembly. So let's quickly roll through. We're going to be working with configuration variables which will allow us to change the, the size of the bearings and the thickness of the fidget spinner for all of its parts simultaneously. This is our mother sketch and all the parts will be derived from this sketch. So let's first extrude our first part and here we have the bearing in the middle and around that we have the fidget spinner. Now we add some fillets to the fidget spinner and next we have the sketch for, for the caps that we start to design. Slowly that takes shape and here we have the sketch and revolve to show the profile of the cap on the top. We add the fillet and now we have all the parts we need for our fidget spinner. Now, like I said, everything here is parametric. If I want this to be 20, everything updates accordingly. And if we want to change the thickness, we can decide that we want it eight millimeters thick or seven, millim seven millimeters thick. Everything will update accordingly. Let's stick with 22. Now, another bonus feature I've added here is parametric part names and numbers. We want to be able to change our configurations accordingly, but at the same time, we want our part names, descriptions, and numbers to update accordingly. So I'm just going to rush that all the way to the end. We're going to roll to the end. So let's hop on over to the fidget spinner assembly, where I've already assembled everything together. And I've set all the mates. Everything is fast in place, except for the one Revolute mate. And now if we'd like to animate this, as you saw, set this to a loop and hit play. And there we have it. We have our spinner spinning around. I can really demonstrate how this parametric configuration really helps us. If I want to switch it here from 20 to 22, the whole assembly updates instantaneously. And notice the bomb. All the part numbers, descriptions, names changing right away. All right, let's put on shape to the side for a minute and let's see how our AI tools are going to perform. On the left, we've got Leo Mechanical Engineering Copilot, and on the right, we've got Claude AI. So we've got the prompts ready. Help me design a fidget spinner that consists of three times 22 millimeter bearings that rotate around a central bearing of the same size. Let's run it and see how it goes. All right, let's see the results we got here. From Leo, we've got our plan. Let's see. Okay, we've got the results here. Let's see on the left. Leo, as usual, starts with a plan, gathering the technical information, and then creating a visual concept. And we have the standard plan, standard dimensions for the 22 millimeter ball bearing, and the fit seating recommendations for metric bearings are included here. So we can see the plans, everything is organized here in a nice table, all the information you need, the, depending on the shaft diameter, the upper limits, the lower limit intolerances. All the references are here. I'm scrolling slowly so you could read along if you're interested. And here we have the chance for our product description. Now let's generate that and move on to see what's happening with Claude. So here we have a very nice guide. Here we go. Key dimensions, design specifications, the arms. So you've got a nice design guide here. Assembly instructions, design variations, testing and optimization. So that's also very nice. You've got a nice document here from Claude. And then that's the end of it. While over here, we've got ourselves a spinner. And here we have different variations that we can choose from. So we've tried a bunch of different renderings. And now we're going to try to guide it here with our sketch of the model from Onshape. 
Let's run the prompt and see how it will generate the model. Great. So we've got inspiration from the model. Now we can get some variance and give Leo some creativity to come up with some new concepts. Now we've got our new concept here that was created by Leo. I like this. I'm going to give this a thumbs up and let's just upscale it. There's our model and let's generate a 3D model based on that. There you have it, the 3D model. Based on the design in Onshape. And now we can download it and we will import it into Onshape. Now we go back into Onshape. And there it is. Back into Onshape. We have the 3D model that was designed based on our design in Onshape, designed by AI with Leo. I hope you enjoyed this, seeing how we can take a part that we designed and continue the design process in AI in this case with Leo Mechanical Engineering Copilot, and then produce another 3D model that we can export back into Onshape. So uh, if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.